What's up guys? Today's video we are trying some very exciting new items in the fast food world. The first place that we are at is actually Zaxby's and I'm very excited for this because we are actually getting some seafood. So it says Zaxby's adds new southern fried shrimp and Zax tail sauce. In a bold move sure to make waves in the fast food world, Zaxby's is breaking new ground by introducing southern fried shrimp to its menu accompanied by new Zax tail sauce. This limited time offer marks the first foray into seafood for the Georgia based brand known for its signature chicken fingers wings and sauces so I have gotten Zaxby's a few times on my channel I'm sure you guys have probably seen me get it before but yeah they don't typically have seafood on their menu so I'm pretty excited to try this and the Zaxtail tail sauce kind of looks like a mixture of cocktail and tartar sauce at least that's what it looks like in the picture so I'll be very curious to try it and then they also have some like egg rolls or something. I haven't tried those. I don't know how new they are, but I may order them. And I'm definitely getting myself an AHA. I have been coming to Zaxby's just to get the AHA drinks, which if you guys aren't familiar with them, they're just sparkling waters and I love them so much. Okay, let's pop into the Zaxby's drive-thru. Thank you, Mr. Zaxby's. What can I get for you? Hi, could I get the Southern Fried Shrimp combo, please? It comes with a... Uh, called Zach's Tail, so it's our Zach sauce and cocktail mixed together. Did you want that or would you like something else? Um, no, but I'll take the, yeah, I'll take that sauce, please. What would be your drink? Um, can I do a large AHA, the blueberry pomegranate, please? <laughs> oh, there it is. What else, what else were you? Um, can I also get a side of the veggie egg rolls, please? Okay. And that's gonna be it. Alright, so put you at 1336 at the window, thank you. Okay, thank you. Ooh, okay, so the Zach's tail sauce is actually their Zach sauce mixed with tartar sauce. That is very interesting. Their Zach sauce, I don't know, the best thing I can compare it to is maybe like raising cane sauce. Hi, how's it going? Here you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Pull up to the door. Where's the door? I think it's over here. At first, I thought I did not have my wallet. I was about to freak out because I have been switching my purses a lot because, oh my gosh, you guys, we've had the nicest weather ever. It's pretty windy today, but in terms of the temperature, it's supposed to hit, I think, 80. So it's been super warm. Right now, I've been using this purse, which has been like my go-to favorite purse ever. Freaking love this purse. But I've been switching into more like spring bags and I almost thought I left my wallet in a different purse. Luckily, I had it. <laughs> I always get so nervous about that, which I do have Apple Pay on my phone. I think a lot of places do take Apple Pay, but I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Oh my goodness, you guys. This blueberry pomegranate. I'm addicted. I am addicted to the AHA Blueberry Pomegranate. It is amazing. The taste, fabulous. The bubbles, amazing. I love super carbonated drinks, so. Oh, it's so good. Also, I hope you guys all had an amazing Easter. I apologize for missing my last upload. I honestly really miss you guys, but I kind of just needed to take some time to myself because usually I work all weekend for YouTube because I have to film, I have to edit, which is for my Sunday upload. I have to get it uploaded on Sunday, making my thumbnail, which the thumbnail actually takes a while. Anyways, all that to say, I typically work most of the weekend for YouTube. So for Easter, I was like, you know what, let me just take the weekend off. Gabe and I went out Saturday. We got lunch, which was super delicious. We did some shopping, we got groceries. And then Sunday on Easter, we went and saw his family which that was a lot of commotion he's got a big family so Sunday was like all day you know interacting with family which was nice I mean very blessed to see his family it was a lot of fun Mello came with us he loves going down there and seeing everyone because Mello was just so friendly so yeah anyways it was just a really busy weekend so I figured I would just kind of take Easter off but I miss you guys if you guys celebrated Easter I hope you all enjoyed it and know that I'm very excited to be back filming even whenever I take one upload off I'm like wow I really miss this <laughs> okay well I'm gonna wait on the food 
I'll check in with you guys once we get it. All right, you guys, we've secured our Zaxby's bag. It actually smells so good. It does smell like slightly fishy, but I mean, it's shrimp. Shrimp isn't all that fishy, but kind of has like that fish taste or fish smell, <laughs> not taste. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited to try this Zach's tail sauce. Okay, so let's check out what is in this bag. I believe these are the egg rolls. Ooh, yes, they are. Okay, so for the egg rolls, you can get two for $3, which is a pretty good deal. They look super crispy. Look at those. Oh my goodness. And then we have the Southern Fried Shrimp combo Ooh, okay that looks pretty good of course you have this signature zaxby's texas toast and their french fries which are very delicious we also have the sweet and sour sauce for the egg rolls and then oh it actually comes in a container i thought it was going to be like a housemate sauce but they actually have packaging for it so it just says Zach's tail sauce okay I kind of feel like we should start off with the appetizer and try these egg rolls Ooh, that sweet and sour sauce looks very delicious mmm smells super tangy okay these are so delicious Wow, they actually taste like they're from a Chinese restaurant. Mmm, the egg rolls, definitely approve of those. Those are scrumptious. Wow. All right, what did I do with my Zach's tail sauce? So, I was like, I just had it, but it was hiding behind my little container. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is the sauce up close it does look very similar to their zach sauce but definitely a different texture okay the breading of the shrimp actually tastes very similar to the breading of their chicken which would make sense i'm assuming it is the same breading but kind of incredible how it tastes so similar Okay, these are really good. I can't tell if it has the tail on it though. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> this one like bit so perfectly. I thought it had a tail on it, but obviously it doesn't. That would not make any sense if they left the tail on the shrimp. <laughs> okay, the fries are actually really good with the Zach's tail sauce too. You know, I don't quite remember the taste of tartar sauce. I mean, I definitely know what the taste of cocktail sauce is like. This kind of tastes more like the Zach sauce mixed with cocktail as opposed to tartar, but maybe it is tartar and I just have cocktails. <laughs> cocktail on my mind, so I think it tastes like cocktail. Yeah, I just can't quite remember what tartar sauce tastes like, but it definitely tastes like a little bit of a variation of their Zach sauce. The fried shrimps are really good. I will just say the breading is very thick. It's not like a light flaky breading, but definitely a lot thicker and more dense breading, if that makes sense. These egg rolls are amazing too. Have you guys watched The Traders? I have been so addicted to that show here lately. I actually got into it because Trisha Paytas would always talk about it on her podcast and I was like, I've never seen The Traders before. What is that? I thought it was like an actual show, but it's a game show. I mean, it is an actual show, but it's like a reality game show and it's on Peacock, which I got Peacock and it turns out Gabe has had Peacock this whole time. So now we have two Peacock accounts. <laughs> But yeah, I've been watching The Traders. It's so good. I will say I do like the UK version way better than the American version. Yeah, the UK version, they're just a lot better at the challenges and it seems like they're smarter. I don't know what it is about the Americans, but they really struggle with the challenges.
it's kind of like what was that game show that i watched not that long ago i talked about it in a video i want to say it was called the trust i don't know i'll pop it up on the screen because it may not be the trust but It gives me trust vibes, which I think traitors came first. So maybe the trust was kind of inspired by the traitors. Okay, well, you guys, I gotta say, this Zaxby's has absolutely hit the spot. Okay, so the next spot that we are going to is Bojangles, and that is to get their new bird dogs. Whenever I saw these, I was like, oh yeah, this this is up my alley. I love myself a hot dog. And then combine chicken with hot dog, you get a bird dog. <laughs> get them while they're hot. We put a chicken supreme inside a toasted potato bun, layered on our thick cut pickles, and drizzled it all in Bo's Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. If you guys haven't had Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, it is super delicious. They typically sell it in grocery stores, so even if you don't live like in the Carolinas, you can still buy it at most places. There's a bunch of different brands of the gold barbecue sauce, but it's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. It's so good. Anyways, okay. I will see you guys over at Bojangles. Oh my gosh, you guys, Bojangles also has a new Bowberry cookie. You already know we are going to try that out as well. Oh my goodness. Yes. Bojangles, what can I get for you? Hi, um, could I get one of the bird dogs, please? All right, just one? Uh, yes, just one. And then, could I also get a Bowberry cookie, please? Would that be all for you? Yep, that's going to be it. Five or one. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Did she say 501? Because I feel like if she said 501, that's actually pretty good. We got a cookie and a whole bird dog for $5. That's a great deal. Actually, I think I saw it was two for five. Yeah, you can get two bird dogs for $5, which I did not get two because I don't need to. <laughs> we just need one because they actually do look pretty big. But what if they're small? What if I actually get it and it's like that tiny? Hopefully it's a good size. Hi, how's it going? Oh, good. You, good. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, thanks. All right, you guys. We've secured our Bojangles bag. I really want to peek in here to see how big the bird dog is. Ooh, it actually does look kind of small. Okay, let me get parked and we'll check it out. Okay, here is our cookie. Ooh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, that cookie actually looks so good. It's very moist to the touch, and I can feel it's pretty soft. Okay, I'm very excited about this. And then here's the bird dog. Okay, I was definitely expecting something a lot bigger, and to be honest, now that I think about it, I don't know why, because their chicken tenders aren't massive. So obviously the bird dog is gonna be like a similar size to the chicken tender. <laughs> Ooh, he's a little baby. Oh, and little baby, little baby hot dog. <laughs> that is exactly how my dad would act if he was here. I just totally reminded myself of him. Okay, I mean, it looks very delicious. And I can see the Carolina Gold Barbecue Oh. Okay, yeah, it's on there. They didn't put a whole lot of the barbecue sauce on there. I almost wanted to get some bow sauce, I think it's called. Yeah, it's bow sauce. It says Bojangles brings back bow sauce, now available in restaurants and stores across the southeast. I meant to ask for this, but I kind of forgot. I feel like that would have been really good to dip it in. Okay, just got my thumbnail. Now let's try this bird dog and see does it actually taste good. Mmm. Okay, despite the lack of sauce, it's actually really juicy. I think because of the pickles, the pickles add a really nice, like, juicy crunch. Okay, this is really good. And what's even better is you could literally get any sauce from Bojangles and dip this into the sauce, which I should have done that. I was up at the window and I was just thinking, I need to get sauce, but I didn't. <laughs> I 
So on their website, they actually specifically say that like you can eat this one handed, which I guess is like supposed to be a plus side to this item. I don't know, but it really is the perfect one handed handheld item to eat while you're driving. It's not messy. Which is maybe why they didn't make it overly saucy. Like, you know. Nothing's dripping out the bottom. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> okay, so now let's try this blueberry cookie. I am so excited for this. Kind of want to break it in half. Mm. Okay, it definitely tastes like an undercooked cookie, which I personally like. If that's not your thing, you may want to tell them to just to like cook it for a little bit longer, but it is so soft and chewy. You get a subtle hint of blueberry, but mm. okay, maybe a little bit more than a subtle hint. This is so good. Oh my goodness. When I make cookies at home, I always undercook them because I love a really soft, doughy cookie. <laughs> so that cookie is perfect. But if you like a crunchier cookie, just know this is very soft. Like, softer than McDonald's, softer than Subway. Also, just so you guys know, I am so excited about my video that's coming out this weekend. I was going to film it today, but I needed something that was like a little bit more chill to film because I am working today. So I'm going to film it this weekend on Saturday and upload it Sunday, but it's going to be such a good video. Something like sparked the idea and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. So I'm super excited to film it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I feel like I'm teasing y'all right now, but... Hopefully it's getting y'all excited for this weekend's upload. <laughs> okay, I think we have maybe one or two more new fast food items to try. I gotta get back to work, so as soon as I get off, I will see you guys to try the rest of our new fast food items. All right, you guys, it's now time for our next new fast food items, and we are at Sonic. Also, I just got done walking Mello at the park. That is why I'm in a different outfit. I was gonna bring Mello with me, but we did just under two miles so he was very tired after Mello is pretty out of shape so he was panting so I brought him home so he could get some water and kind of cool off otherwise I would have brought him but we are at Sonic to get their new blackout slush so it says Sonic announces new blackout slush float to celebrate to total solar eclipse in anticipation of the rare North American total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Sonic is rolling out a celestial inspired treat, the blackout slush float set to debut nationwide on March 25th for a limited time only. So I'm assuming they still have this drink. It's only been like just under a week since they've released it, but it looks awesome. Look at this drink. I am so excited to get it. It looks super cool. If it's actually black like that, I'm gonna be very impressed. In terms of the flavor, it says that it is crafted with a blend of cotton candy and dragon fruit flavors. The all black slush of the blackout slush float symbolizes the temporary darkness during the solar eclipse. Topped with creamy white soft serve and galaxy themed sprinkles in shades of blue and purple, this cosmic concoction promises to transport customers on a journey through outer space. It sounds like it's gonna be very pretty, so I'm pretty excited. And then I think we're also gonna get some of their wraps. I never tried their wraps. They had wraps come out, I think, last month. They have a hickory barbecue crispy tender wrap as well as a cheesy Baja crispy tender wrap. So I think I'm gonna get the cheesy Baja wrap because I'm not a big fan of like barbecue on wraps and sandwiches and stuff. So we'll try that one. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop into the drive through Thank you for choosing Sonic. Could you speak to my mail? Hi, um, could I get the blackout slush, please? Of course. This one? Uh, just one, yeah. Alrighty, what else can we get for you? And then could I also get a cheesy Baja crispy tender wrap, please? Of course. Cheesy Baja. Alright. And uh, I think that's going to be it. 
Alrighty, blackout slush and then a cheesy Baja chicken wrap until the 640 at the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I totally forgot that they have those new pulled barbecue items as well, but I think those are like a few months old now. I think those came out a while ago. Oh, you guys, I miss Mello. <laughs> I wish Mello was here. I really wanted to bring him, but I just needed to get him home so he could get some water. Let me tell you guys, those people on the trail are some chatty caddies. I usually just like stick my headphones in, put my head down, walk, or I mean like I'll look at the scenery because it's a very beautiful trail, but you know, usually I just like do my thing, but people were chatty today. There was one guy who saw my shirt. Cause this shirt says Harvard on it. And he was like, he stops me and he goes, Oh, you went to Harvard. And I was like, uh, no, not quite. I went to UNCG. And he was like, Oh, I taught there, but I thought you went to Harvard based on your shirt. And I'm like, no, I actually got it online. And he's like, Oh, that's, that's really smart. That brings you some good attention. He was like in his 60s at least probably I would say 60s to 70s So I guess buying shirts with like other schools on it is like a newer generational thing I don't know, but it was quite funny. I feel like I can't really see y'all because the steering wheel is in the way But are y'all excited for the solar eclipse? Let me know. I'm like I don't know. I haven't really thought too much about it. I've been seeing a lot of stuff on it because so many fast food restaurants are coming out with like items and deals, you know, based on the eclipse, which is kind of funny. So I've been seeing a lot in that regard, but I don't know. Apparently it only comes around, like it's common, but only in, I guess it's common, but you can only see it from certain locations of the world. So apparently this one is going to be able to be seen from like North America, whereas the last one was seen from other countries, whatever the case may be. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely want to see it. It's supposed to be on April 8th. So depending on what time it happens, I mean, I work from home, so I should... Does it happen during the day? I would think so, right? Like maybe in the evening. I, I'm not very knowledgeable on the eclipse, I should probably do some research on it. Sonic is supposed to give you glasses with the shake because you can't look directly at the eclipse. You're supposed to look at it through glasses. <laughs> so we'll see if we get the glasses that are supposed to come with the shake. I'm not very hopeful. It says while supplies last. It's been out for some time, so they're probably sold out of the glasses, but we'll see. Awesome, thank you. Oh my gosh, we got the glasses. <gasps> that shake looks so cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Okay, I'm super excited about that. Thanks, have a good day. Um, I'll just take some ranch, please. Thank you. You too. Alright you guys, we've secured our Sonic bag as well as this blackout slush. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me get parked somewhere and I'll give you guys a good look at the shake because it looks awesome. Okay, lighting is a little bit questionable everywhere, but if I sit back, hopefully it looks fine. Also, I got my hair cut and it is so much shorter now. I mean, it's not short, but my hair got really, really long and I got it done last week and I was like, girl, we got to cut some inches off because it is way too long. It is way too heavy. So we did like three inches, but it's actually a lot shorter. Okay. Let me show you guys this slush. Guys, look at this thing. How awesome <gasps> does that look? Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. I love all the sprinkles. Okay. I think we need Need to try the slush first oh i got my glasses too they look like 3d glasses don't they it says 2024 can you guys see it 2024 solar eclipse how exciting is that now i'm gonna have to go look at it with my sonic glass <gasps> you can't see anything whoa it's like totally blackout When viewing the eclipse, always wear eclipse glasses when any part of the sun is visible. So I have to look at it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So whenever you look up at the sun, it's just a little tiny orange dot. Like it's completely black. And then the sun is just a little orange dot, which to be honest, I look at the sun without glasses anyways. Is that bad? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this slush. Should we start first? 
like if y'all you guys see I don't know it's because the ice cream is pretty thick Oh my gosh, that's so good. After that long, hot walk that Mello and I took, this is so refreshing. I definitely taste a berry flavor, but the ice cream is really sweet. So it's kind of like a sweet, fruity flavor. Wow, that is delicious. Okay, here's the wrap. Got to hold it back here so you guys can see. Oh, yeah. It's saucy. I think that's cheese. Let me see. Yeah, it tastes cheesy. Okay, that's really good. All these fast food restaurants are coming out with wraps now because McDonald's is bringing theirs back, I think, next year. So all these places are trying to get ahead of the game because I think McDonald's is definitely, like, top of the competition in terms of fast food. I would say they're definitely the most popular. So all these fast food restaurants are coming out with their wraps before McDonald's brings theirs back. This is super delicious, though. I would definitely say it's up there with Burger King's. You know, Hardee's was pretty good. <gasps> hmm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, oh my gosh, I forgot a new item that's out right now, but it's gonna be tied into my next video. Anyways, yeah, Hardee's wraps are pretty good. Burger King, really good. Sonic, very good. Wendy's, I don't like Wendy's wraps. Wendy's wrap was just way too big. Wendy's breakfast burrito was good, but didn't didn't do well on the lunch menu. Also, someone commented about my hair. These pieces in the front and how they always get my food. These don't like fit. When I pull my hair back, they don't fit into the ponytail. They just like fall out. Even whenever I use gel to slick my hair back, it still falls out. Obviously I could put it like behind my glasses with the rest, but I like my little sprigs out too at the same time, you know? It's part of the hairstyle. And I have a very round chubby face. So I like to keep little pieces of hair in it to distract from <laughs> how round my face is. This is so good. The sprinkles on top are so fun. Sonic is so creative with their slushies. I feel like there was one last thing I wanted to chat with you guys about, but now I can't remember. For the Beyonce album, have you guys been listening to the new Beyonce album? There's quite a few songs on there that I really like. I love the one with Dolly Parton called Tyrant. Uh, of course, the one with Post Malone, Levi's Jeans. That one is so good. The one with Miley Cyrus, love that one too. I kind of think she killed it with this album. I cannot wait for Post Malone's country album. If he actually is coming out with a country album, I cannot wait for it. I'm so here. It's going to be so good. I just feel like his vibe totally fits country music, but kind of with like a rock star twist, you know, like total rock star country. That's my boy, Post Malone. 
I think I'm gonna end this video here. I had so much fun trying the new fast food items that are currently out right now. Let me know, do you guys enjoy these videos? I love doing them and I feel like it's fun to put all the latest new fast food items into one video. They're also kind of easier for me to film during the work week. You know, like Saturdays upload, I try to be more creative and fun. Like during the week, I like to do these new item videos. So let me know if you guys enjoy it. Are y'all getting tired of it? You know. You can be honest with me. But I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.